share with you one way that I like to weave in my ends when I am finishing one yarn and joining a new one. There are so many different ways to weave in your ends and this particular way uses a duplicate stitch method. I like this method because I don't find the ends as easy to pop out and though I am duplicate stitching, I don't find the thickness of those stitches on the sides to be particularly noticeable. So here is a sweater and I have these two ends sticking out. They were initially on the wrong side, but I find it easier to do the duplicate stitch when looking on the right side or the stockinette side of the fabric. So you can see there's a little hole here and I'm going to close up that hole by having these yarn ends cross. So they cross as if they were to continue knitting on each side. So I have a yarn needle or darning needle here and I'm going to thread it through on one of them. So here I am taking the one that is on the right and I want to cross it over to the left. And basically I want to mimic the pattern of the stockinette stitch here. So to close up that gap, I'll give it a little tug and I'm going to go through, let's see here, I'm going to go through this stitch here and then continue in that line of stitches. And I'm just going to follow the same knit stitches a few times. I won't pull too tight. I want to match the tension of the fabric of the stitches that are already there. That's probably plenty. I just did maybe five or six of them. And then I'll just loop it through. And I can always just um, cut off that end later or just leave it. So there's one side done. So you can see it's slightly thicker, but in the scheme of things, in thousands of stitches, it is undetectable. And usually after blocking, it kind of evens out as well. So now I will do the exact same thing to the other one. You can see where I tugged a little bit there, that's where it's attached. The hole is already starting to close up, but I need to make sure I close it up on the other side as well. So I'm going to Thread this through my needle. And then close up that hole the same way. Just follow one line of knit stitches. And I'll usually just do maybe five or six. Sometimes it just depends on how long of an end I have to work with. Okay, that's probably plenty. I'll just stick that end through. And there you have it. The end is woven in. There's no more hole there. The tension is pretty much the same as the rest. And my end is woven in. I hope that is helpful to you. Happy knitting! Mm -hmm.